Rhea Ripley made her return. Rhea Ripley is finally back, man, obviously, since her injury. And you already know the first person on her mind was coming after Liv Morgan, and rightfully so. I mean, Liv Morgan, to, you know, what she did and all that stuff and what she's been doing since Rhea's been gone, you know, Rhea's obviously back to incite her own revenge, you know. But overall, you know, I thought Monday Night Raw was pretty good tonight, you know, coming off the heels of Money in the Bank. You had some really good matches tonight. Like, I thought the six, you know, woman tag uh, before the main event was pretty solid. Um, and afterwards, we saw, you know, and they've been talking about it, teasing it for weeks now, obviously. But Sonya Deville, Shayna Baszler, and uh, Zoe Stark coming out, taking out Lyra and her crew, taking out Damage Control, who's been trying to get back up. And, um, you know, pretty much saying that they're going to take over. You know, they're going to take over the women's tag team division and getting back those ta and getting those tag team titles, excuse me. But also you had some really good matches. Like I thought Dragon Off and Braun Breaker had a really good one. You know, Braun Breaker took off, took out Sami Zayn early on the night, obviously coming off the heels of what happened at Money in the Bank. And then after the match, you know, Braun was looking to inflict more damage on Dragon Off, but Sammy came out and Braun just took out Sammy. So another dominating night from Sammy Zayn. I mean, from Braun Breaker to Sammy Zayn. You had uh, the Judgment Day taking on Braun Strowman um, and the Awesome Truth. It was a little fun, little six man tag team match. Obviously, the Judgment Day got the win because. Our troop celebrating, you know, Miz was trying to get him back on track, but, you know, our troop obviously wasn't listening because they lost the match. And then, of course, you had um, Pete Dunne taking on Bronson Reed. That was pretty solid. And um, you had the CM Punk and Seth Rollins um, meet up, which obviously Rollins confronted CM Punk. Punk wanted Drew McIntyre. All night he's been trying to come after Drew McIntyre, but Pierce was telling him, like, you got to go home, man, like, rest up. And they did uh, reveal that Drew McIntyre uh, will indeed be on the show next week. So, obviously, Punk won't be there, but, hey, it is what it is at the end of the day. Yeah, you also had the Wyatt Six, obviously, man, because Chad Gable took on Jey Uso, and when it seemed like that, the match was starting to get good. Um... Freaking the White Six got involved, or at least they almost did. Um, and Jay was pretty funny, man, because Jay had um, Jay won the match and then he left, and the way he left was pretty funny. But nevertheless, you know, you had that White Six, you know, tape being played, which was a really nice vignette. And then Bo Dallas was actually in the office of Adam Pearce later on in the show as Pierce was talking with Chad Gable. Um, but then again, going back to this whole CM Punk and Seth Rollins segment, I thought that was a pretty solid segment between both guys, obviously. Obviously, Punk has a story with Drew going on right now, but it's no question whatsoever that Rollins is still on his radar. And then, of course, you know, Damian Priest and Gunther, they cut their little promos early on in the show and um they're gonna meet face to face next week on raw so overall a really good episode of monday night raw and uh really nothing more i could say about it so